Okay, so come to the fitting. Again, it's really easy. Just check for any obstructions. Well, that's something you do initially when, it, when you come to the measure, but it's really straightforward. There are a couple of ways in which you can install your brackets. These are the L brackets here. You have a little foot of the bracket and a little bit that sticks out. Again, this is really easy to install. If it's slightly tricky to install, if you've got brand new doors, um, a good way to put these in um, is to use fairy liquid because it lubricates it. It just slides behind the seal really easily. So you can either use a business card here. If you use a business card, you put a business card and you put a little mark on there. Uh, you do that in all four corners. I personally, the way I've always done it, is I offer the blind up. This is just my personal method. I offer the blind up and I put a pencil mark here. As you can see, there are some pencil marks on there already. This blind's been on before. On doors, you will get six brackets instead of four, just to keep it a little bit extra secure. It's already marked up at the bottom. And now to install the brackets, it's really, really easy. You put where your pencil mark is here. So this blind's been in on and off, you know, plenty of times, so that's gone in really, really easily. On new seals, you might need to use a little bit of fairy liquid, but most of the time you'll probably be okay with getting away with it. Again, just slot these in, it's just an L bracket, it literally slots in really easily. Like so, I know what your pencil marks are. Now, if you put your pencil marks in the right place, the blind should just literally flip on. If it isn't, which hopefully it isn't on this case, it's dead easy to move, uh, no problem. You can see here, there are little punch holes in the frame, the six of them, and all that's gonna do, it's just gonna locate to this little lug here, and then once, that, once they connect, the blinds together. Pop them on. That one's located in the right place. That one has, I'll just, oh, that one, see this one's slightly out of line. That's good, that's no problem. What we're going to do is just lift it up a little bit. That's all. Save at the bottom, clip them on, and that's finished. One good thing to know as well as is how to take them off. If you do want to take the blinds off, these little lugs that you just clipped in, you just literally poke them in and the blind will clip off as well as. And that is your blind complete. If, when you've got your, when you've got your blind, if they're not fitting very well uh, on the bracket, you can order different brackets. It's not it's not the end of the world. Your blind isn't faulty or wrong. We do have different bead depths, but we can cover that in there. We've covered that in part one of the video during the measuring. Hope that was really good. Thank you very much.